All right, so this is a continuation of musictheory.net, how a student submits their grade to you. So you may have noticed my icon is different here. This is a student of mine. She gave me permission to share her um, work with you guys here. Uh, so you can see what it looks like from a student's perspective. So let's scroll down to um, their, my students are working on major scales currently. And anything that's gray, means that the student has submitted it and it's already been graded by me. If it's purple, it means it hasn't been graded yet or the student hasn't completed the assignment. Okay, so let me just click on this one, major scales, flats only. You can see here it's been turned in. Um, so there's two awesome things about this. The first awesome thing, like I said, is it's self grading. The second awesome thing is if a student starts this assignment in class, and doesn't finish, the website saves their progress. So cool, I know. All right, so I'm gonna click on this assignment and it automatically takes me to where the student left off, okay? Now this particular student was trying to get a higher grade, so that's why it's a seven out of seven. She probably got like a 90, let's see, she's an overachiever, let's check her out. Oh, no, she got 100, all right? So um, she got 100, 10 out of 10. It only took her five minutes and 25 seconds. These are the key signatures that she received. So she got one of each, it looks like. And uh, she obviously didn't get any wrong. She had both treble and bass clef. So I can see, and then this is the student's name. Let me show you how the student will uh, submit the assignment. So I'm gonna click on, I have to just hit on submit here so you can see. But, um, but I'm going to take you through as if you're a student. So you're doing this assignment, right? You're doing your major scales. You're going through. Right? It's got some notes on it for us. B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat, right? Let's get this assignment done. There's only one more question. I figured I'd just do it real quick. All right. All right. Awesome. I got a 100. Okay. This is what the, the student will say. View report or start challenge. Obviously, I want to view my report. So I click view report. And then it's going to prompt me to sign the report. I'm going to write my name. I'm going to sign the report. And then I have two options, copy code or copy link. I ask my, you could do either or. I ask my students to copy the link. So you just click on it. It looks like nothing's happened, but it's copied it in the computer. I go back to my Google Classroom. I'm gonna go here in the right-hand corner where it says add or create, and I'm gonna attach a link. Why am I attaching a link? because that's what I've attacked, what I've clicked on in the previous assignment, on the previous tab rather, right? So this is it, musictheory.net, verify. I'm gonna add the link. And now as the teacher, I can click on this and see my student's grade. I don't have to grade it, there it is. I see her grade, I see how long it took her. Obviously this was just made up one. I see what key signatures she got, what scales she got, what clefts it were we're on and the range, the ledger line above and below. Okay, so darn cool. So then I, as the teacher, on my end, I'm just gonna bounce into her class real quick. Charlena was the student. The flat major scales was the assignment. I'm just gonna pop down there so you can see what it looks like on my end. So classwork, flats only. I click on that. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to pop down to Charlena. Okay, it says it's missing because I marked it as un not done, right? But I can click on that link. We already know she got a 10 out of 10. But this is what it looks like for me. I see her grade. And then I can grade it right here on Google Classroom. And she can get her grade immediately. And I can return it to her. I can click it, 
and send it back to her and she'll see immediately her grade. Super, super cool. Now, another thing I want to show you, I'm just going to delete this and turn it back in. She did do it on time. It will say it's late now, but I, I know it was turned in on time. And I don't really care about late work on Google Classroom. Um, everyone has their own style, okay, but I don't care. All right, so as a student, like let's say I'm doing this assignment, so I'm back in and I wanna get a higher grade, right? Like let's say I click something by mistake and I hit submit. Oh my God, I didn't mean to do that. All the kid has to do is go to the upper right-hand corner Click on these three dots, hit end challenge, and then they can start it over again, which is great for kids that, you know, hit something by mistake or they're just really doing poorly, right? Um, you know, and they can't figure out the answers. They can, once they've mastered the concept, they can redo the assignment. And honestly, I don't care. Um, obviously this is wrong. Uh, I don't care how many times they redo the assignment because the more times they redo the assignment, the more practice they've had on the assignment and the higher their mastery will be, in my opinion. Um, even if they've memorized the answers at the end of the day, if they know that F major has one flat and it's B flat, then who cares? They know the answer, right? That's my goal. Student mastery, student independence. Um, and that, like I said, that's me. Different strokes, different folks. And that's how I run my class. And musictheory.net is an incredible resource and it saves me copious amounts of time. Um, the lock screen mode does not work on this because it is an outside link. It's not a Google link. However, um, I, so kids in the past have done things like this, right? Look up F major scale and uh, get the answer uh, from Google. So if you seem to have that problem, right? They can just go to images, right? And kids have done this. I've seen them do it. I've seen them do it, um, right? B flat, there's the answer, but they have to know what the key signature, oh, there it is, okay? So if, if kids are doing that, if you find that kids are doing that, um, have them turn around. Have them turn around and you can look at their screens while they work. Or you can hit control, shift, T and the last screen or tab that they have opened will pop open for you and you can see what they were looking at. If they were watching Netflix, if they were, you know, um, which is really cool. So I'm going to say that again, that's control shift and T that works on Chromebooks. It will open the last tab that the student had open and you can kind of see what's going on. So that's, that's how students submit their codes on um, musictheory.net allowing you to instantly grade the assignment. Next, I'm going to show you um, how I do my Google Form self-graded assignments in the next series. Hope to see you there.